guys, my name is Luca from Audio Tribe and in this video I will make a review about the brand new soundbar from JBL, the JBL Bar 1000. The JBL flagship is an 11.1 or 7.1.4 surround sound system that includes 4 up-firing speakers for Dolby Atmos 3D sound. It also has a wireless buffer and 2 rear detachable speakers that support DTSX 3D surround sound. JBL built in 2020 a very similar version of the soundbar called the JBL Bar 9.1 that also had the full removable rear speaker. But the new JBL Bar 1000 adds two more drivers for a 7.1.4 arrangement and bumps the power output to 880 watts compared to 820 watts in the JBL Bar 9.1. In the package, you will find the main soundbar unit, two rear detachable speakers, the wireless subwoofer the remote control, two power cords, one HDMI cable, wall brackets and the manual that no one reads. It is very easy to set up. You have to select how you will connect the JBL Bar 1000 as we get to choose between four HDMI connectors, a digital optical connection, USB, Bluetooth, internet and wireless connection. The JBL Bar 1000 has a powerful sound, about 880 watts combined power to all the speakers without having to run wires in the house and trust me, the sound is amazing. Here is a sound test. The wireless subwoofer have a boxy look that is made from wood. It offers 300 watts and has a thrilling and precise bass that comes from a 10 inch speaker that is mounted on the bottom of the box so it is protected from dust or even from the sharp claws of the kitty. is the same subwoofer that comes with JBL Bar 500 or JBL Bar 800, but in my test it feels a bit more powerful than the other two. The main soundbar unit has a sturdy construction and is made only from plastic, so it can be cleaned very easily. The unit comes with a new and redesigned modern look and offers 440 watts that can be heard in all directions. The two rear detachable battery power surround speakers blend with the main unit perfectly and with the included wall brackets can be mounted wherever you want. The rear speakers offer a power of 140 watts and has up to 10 hours of playing time. Fortunately, it has a full LED display that is positioned on the right side of the front face and provides you with various information like input selection, volume and sound format amongst others. On the right side of the main unit of the soundbar on top, you will find the layout of buttons with a volume control and input selection button that can be used for various functions depending how many times you press it. On the back of the main unit is the interface that features 3 HDMI inputs, 1 HDMI ER connector, digital optical input, 1 Ethernet port as well as a USB port that can be used to connect external storage and stream audio from there. If you don't want to bother with buttons turning on and off, the JBL Bar 1000 has CAC functionality that means that the unit will turn on and off automatically when it detects a signal in HDMI port and will take the volume directly from the TV. In the package you will find wall brackets in case you plan on putting it on a wall and is included a new remote control which provides all the necessary buttons in order to control all the soundbar functions. The soundbar has an audio calibration function and is super simple to do it. Just press on the caliber button twice on the remote control and due to the included microphones in the main unit of the soundbar, the unit will auto calibrate the sound to give you a better sound experience. 
As far as its performance, the JBL Bar 1000 soundbar will certainly amaze you with bass power, clear sound and has enough power to completely fill with sound a very big room, so it's impressive. It has Dolby Atmos technology and with the up firing and rear speaker, create an amazing sound experience. I recommend after calibrate the soundbar, put the Atmos function at the max level and the rear speakers at the medium level for a more immersive Atmos experience. In my opinion, a traditional Dolby Atmos system with speakers mounted on the ceiling gives you a better Atmos feeling. They're not stopping. And are we. JBL Bar 1000 with AirPlay, Alexa MRM and Chromecast and they can be controlled by your preferred voice assistant, Alexa, Google or Siri. Also, this soundbar uses JBL Pure Voice technology that optimizes voice clarity and has JBL One app where you can enable equalizer adjustments. At the end of this review, I want to say that the JBL Bar 1000 soundbar is an excellent choice in case you are looking for an easy to handle and simple to use soundbar as this plug and play design will certainly attract many of us. General design and big quality are great. The rear speakers, thanks to the new magnetic inserts, stay in place and doesn't wobble. The sound performance is amazing and JBL by adding the smart features and the multitude of connectors, they created a very attractive offering at this price range. And now let's see how it sound. It will sound at max volume. It is worth buying it. The JBL Bar 1000 is amazing, but not much better than the JBL Bar 9.1 that was released in 2020 and now costs about $750. If you want the best, the JBL Bar 1000 is the best. But if you want the best soundbar, What are your impressions? Feel free to subscribe our YouTube channel and please hit that like button. Cheers!